What's up, babe, and everybody else, and welcome back to the Founder Academy. I'm Mark, the Foot Founder. Um, so, we are going to jump into some gameplay today. So, I look very tired because I've had a very long week. It has been seven straight days of work, uh, really long hours. So, it's Monday morning. I'm a little bit more refreshed, you know. Uh, not that you guys care that much because it doesn't really affect you too much. But uh, we are going to get into some Foot Champs gameplay. So, what a better way to relax than go into the most awful game mode I've ever played in my life. Um, <laughs> you know, what else could you want to do, right? How else would you want to relax on a Monday morning? So anyway, what you guys are kind of going to see here before we jump into some games is my rewards from last week. So basically what happened last week was um, I went in for the community team of the season. The only card that I really wanted was Alexis Sanchez. I actually got pretty lucky last week uh, with, you know, not just rewards, but with uh, my overall packing in general. I packed him, I packed Taram. And, um, well, I, sorry, I didn't pack Alexis. I ended up buying Alexis, whose prices dropped like a brick now for about two or 300k loss. But packed a bunch of these guys throughout the course of the week. Now, EPL has come out this week, and we've packed none of them. So hopefully the FUT Champs rewards will at least give us one or two of them. I don't really need the big guys. There's no one, surprisingly, in EPL that I really, really want that badly. De Bruyne would be cool, but none of these guys are going to go into my team because my team has essentially become like a Liga, La Liga hybrid which I'll show you guys in a second, but what you guys saw on the screen was just my rewards. We got uh, Red De Gea and Red Kudus because we only finished with seven wins. We only ended up playing, I think we actually went seven and eight because this year, and people might think I'm making excuses, but I usually in the past would finish with between 11 and 13 wins, kind of around there. And I would give away the last one or two games, so I don't even know how good or bad I really am, but let's just say 11 wins. So I'm kind of around that 500 mark just because I tend to rush into games. This year has been so awful in terms of like morale and it affecting the way your team plays because I'm assuming they're so focused on uh, the, I think they're changing it to Ultimate Team FC. So UTFC is what they're going to call this game mode um, next year in FIFA 20 or not FIFA 23, EA Football or whatever they're calling it, um, which. I don't have really high aspirations about. I just assume that it's going to be using, uh, it's going to be using whatever the frostbite engine. Excuse me, it's early morning. Um, they're going to be using the frostbite engine again. It's going to suck again. That's my assumption. Now I hope I'm wrong, and I don't want to just sound like negative, but like I don't want you guys to confuse negativity with pragmatism. Like I'm very realistic about this. I, they've been using the frostbite engine for years and years and years, and they have not announced a new engine, which I would assume they would have done by now. Um, they may be saving that, but that's a really big announcement to say that you're going to be using a new engine and they haven't. So my guess is that they're just going to be using the same one. And like I've said before, this game is so riddled with old fucked up game coding, including morale, which is just, it kills your team. So anyway, what this has to do with this video is that my previous game last year, I just went game, game, game. I went back to back to back to back because I was originally just going to show you guys kind of how it affected my team. I got so mad at this. I didn't even, I think I had like 14 games or I think I went seven and eight. So 15 games. I just stopped playing. I just got to that seven and I screwed up because I thought that was going to give me the chance to get a Lexus and I wasn't paying attention to the rewards and I just gave away too many games. And next thing you know, I could only max out at 90 overall for my player picks. So the good news is that we ended up getting um, two player picks that were actually 90 rated guys in Kudus and De Gea. <clears throat> the downside, excuse me, is that uh, we couldn't get any of the higher rated guys. Now the rewards this year, so we're going to come back to this. So let's jump into the actual gameplay. So play here. Um, excuse me. You guys are going to see... Gosh, what am I doing? So this is the team anyway. We'll show you guys the team quickly. So we have Van der Sar that we ended up packing in one of those prime icon packs. We still have Hakimi. Uh, Sergio Ramos we're still using. Araujo has been actually really good. We have, I was using Carlos Alberto, but he just wasn't, I don't know, there's something about him. I don't know if he just wasn't agile enough, but this guy's just been better. Um, they're about the same though. Alex Tellez at left back. Kema Vinga is uh, one of the holding mids. Messi plays out on the left at left attacking mid. Modric plays as the other holding mid. Um, Vinicius Jr. I just have in there for chemistry purposes because Messi's a right wing and right mid only, which, again, the whole chemistry system is so screwed up this year. Um, Pele we're using at striker, and Sanchez we're using at the cam. So it's not really my, like, ideal lineup here. Um, Mbappe we're bringing on. If So if in-game I have to make any subs, I'll, I'll take off Vinicius and I'll move Pele to the right, and I'll put Mbappe up top. This Bergwijn, we ended up buying just because I really like the look of this card. Um, he's only 4-star, four 4-star, four but he's a cheap little 
beast, I guess you'd say. Uh, Atal comes in if I need any position changes at the CDM spot. And if I need a defenseman, this Nathan Ake we ended up packing. Again, another one of those community guys we ended up packing, so we'll use him. Uh, we still have Eto and Bess. I ended up packing this in the guaranteed Era Divisi. Uh, he's the highest rated, or not highest rated, but he's the highest valued card in the whole thing. I like Chevy Simmons. I don't really know a whole lot about him. I was watching him when he was at Barca, and then I kind of lost track of him when he went to PSG. He kind of floated around, and now he's at PSV doing big things, from what I understand. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, like, all those games are offline, so don't worry about that. We just did that in order to get... I tried to get that center back objective, and then I ended up having to go to work, and I forgot about it because I was during my work week, and I don't play generally that much during my work week, if at all. So... Uh, Shavi Simmons is in there, Griezmann um, is still there, and Goretzka. And then in the club, uh, we have a ton of loans, guys. I, I can't stand loans. I'm thinking about even just using some of these loans during the course of um, this weekend league just to try to get them out of the way and maybe try to use them. So try to ignore any of the blue <laughs> bubbles there. Uh, this Rodrigo actually would be kind of a cool card to use. Maybe we'll try I mean, we might try using some of these guys, you know? Like, maybe I should because they're just going to sit in the club forever. Uh, Mane, Carlos Alberto, uh, we did that SVC. What else do we have? These are all loans. Oh, my God. We have a ton of fodder. Jao Cancelo, Socrates, I keep in the club just because I'm a big Socrates guy. Ederson, Pedri. Uh, we still have that De Bruyne. Uh, we ended up packing Reese James, so that's the only one that we packed, I think, from the EPL. Pogba, Sala, uh, Harvey Elliott I still like. We have a bunch of these guys, the Foot Fantasies. Lineker I'm just keeping in there because I kind of like Lineker. There's my two reds. Uh, we did Benucci, we did Chukweze, uh, Bannon, Bannon or whatever. We ended up packing yesterday because I, I unlocked that 15 by 83 plus objective. Uh, and we got two team of the seasons. They were both from the EFL. So as soon as those went into packs, I was like, this, I screwed up because I took too long to do the objectives. And now they're full of garbage. So all this SVC fodder is in the club. Uh, this uh, Mumba we ended up taking for the EFL young guy because we had all we had a whole bunch of 83s from that 83 plus pack. We ended up getting two team of the seasons. I can't remember who the other guy was, like one other gold rare, and then all 83s, and they were all duplicate. So I just put it into that EFL one. Um, I kept any of the guys that were kind of going up. Uh, so these guys all got like huge upgrades, like three or four upgrades. So we're keep keeping them. They'll probably end up going into fodder. <coughs> Excuse me, or SBCs. Uh, Dybala, we still have uh, Manian. If they do like a high-rated Dybala, I'll really want to do him. Um, just Or get him, because I think he would be a really cool card to have. And it would just complicate my team even more, I'm sure. You guys are just seeing here. There's that Taram that we packed. Uh, we packed Rafael Leao uh, yesterday or the day before in some pack. I can't remember what it was. Um, Nesri, we ended up doing. There's the other guy, Clark Harris. He was in the 83 by 11. We did the Watkins objective, which is actually, you know what? One of the ones that I would interestingly enough like to try um i don't I'd, I'd have to go really spammy here so i'm debating on whether i want to go shabby simmons or bergwine i just shabby simmons is so small i don't know how i feel about that he's just really tiny he's got really cool stats but i just don't know if he's really going to be the card for me but let's jump into a game guys this game i don't want this video to be too long um we're not going to play all of our games today i'm just going to play a couple of them and then we'll do uh, a post a post -com later on um one of three PL tots. So I think that's what I was trying for, and I ended up just doing this. So this is where it's I, I laugh at this, because even though it's max 90, you get two player picks. And the reality is, this one, the one of three tots, you're, there's a very good chance you're going to get like the lower-rated EPL players anyway. So like I just think it's really awful that they have removed a player pick out of there. I just it's so stupid they should have two but they're guaranteed one of three and then this is two guaranteed max 90 so you actually are almost rewarded more for getting 36 points than you are at 45 so how many what do you need here 11 wins and a, at least one loss so basically what 10 wins oh 10 wins get you 40 and then you could do your losses so you'd get 50 points for yeah 50 points. So basically you have to go 50% for the win. So let's see if we can do that, guys. This is going to be sweaty as all hell. I'm not looking forward to this. I'm going to try not to rage on camera here. But this game is just so <laughs> so frustrating this year. Like worse than ever. Like w way worse than ever. I got to hydrate, guys. What do we have here? We have a very Portuguese fan here. So I'm out of southern Ontario. Oh, my lord. 
He's basically the same team as me. Look at that team. Oh my god. This is going to be awful. So, traditionally, game one has always been really poor for me. Um, uh, yeah, game one has been really bad in the past. Whoop. Uh, so, it's basically set the tone for really poor results. And then my team starts getting morale, and then it all goes downhill. Whoop. See, look at that. Oh. I got to stop going inside. Oh, where's Araujo going? <laughs> Tough start. Tough start. Um, look at Araujo. Where is he going here? Look at him just back off. It's stuff like that. This game is just so screwed up this year. Like, it is just the worst. And, like, look, there's part of that that's my fault, but. Goal time. Um, there's part of that that was my fault, of course, but, like, you. You're trying to get used to, uh, you know, this game and where, how it plays. And it's almost impossible because they just do, like, such dumb stuff. Ooh. Now, I haven't played this game uh, very much in the last week, so I'm going to be a little rusty here. Oh, that was dumb. Guys get so mad when you, like, when you, um... When you, when you uh, switch it up like that, guys get so frustrated with that. I've seen so many people on streams and stuff, they just lose their mind. Look at this guy, switch and play. Well, you have to this year. Oh. Go messy. Oh, that was stupid. I shouldn't have done that. He's just sitting there reading passing lanes. That's all he's doing. Get going, Pele. Oh, I thought he scored. Damn it. You know, every time that I think I'm just like, oh, Pele's still about three million. Maybe I'll just sell him. Uh, he does stuff like that where I'm just like, this is why this guy is. This is why this guy's worth three million. Oh, my keepers make no saves. Also this year, like. The swinging is just awful this year. Oh. Mm. 
This is a really spammy game. This is game one, guys. Game one. Get it out of the middle. You got to go up the side. There we go. Put him under pressure. He didn't like that. Oh, that was a terrible idea. Ah. Kind of hemmed in my own zone here. Why are they falling over like that, man? See, the dynamic difficulty in this game is, like, so frustrating. Oh, I thought I was through there. You can feel, like, the, the game just sway. Like, when you get hemmed in, like, you guys saw it there. He was attacking, so, like, you could feel the sliders start to move. So as soon as I would try to counterattack, my players would get a little bit more stuck in mud. And then as soon as they got into any physical challenges, my players displaced or they would fall over. They would just get tackled, right? The passes get a little bit heavier, a little bit further out of the way. So by the time the guy catches up to the ball, the defender's got one step on him. And then my player trips over him and falls, right? And it's happening on both ways. Like, it's not like it's just me. <coughs> Excuse me. This happens on both sides. So this is what I'm going to do. Venetius is going to come out. Uh, we'll put Mbappe in. Um, just because we need a little bit extra here. But I basically had no real attack. This guy's attack's been average at best. He's been under a lot of pressure from me defensively, but he's getting a little bit more... Um, we got to circle it back. I thought for sure he was onside. Ah, oh, Alexis. Get going, you're Pele. You're the best player ever. Oh. Oh, Alexis has been really... Oh, that is bullshit, man. Oh, and that's FIFA this year, man. I mean, there's part of that that's... Well, I mean, you could say it's my fault, right? But We'll just have to slow it down. Look at that. And then he just shoots this idiotic pass. 
That's why guys go out to the wing this year because like as soon as you go through the middle, like the passes are so under hit and they spam you right through the middle. They just they they clobber you. Um Kamavinga, we're gonna take out. Man, that's tough. Like I could have told you that this game was over from the start of it. Not because he's in my head, but just because like the I can always just tell from guys that are the way their teams com like comprise. The way they their teams made up, whether they're spammy or not. Um, this guy's not terribly spammy. Look at that man, and it bounces right back to him. Oh, it's brutal this year. Oh, that's dumb. That's dumb on my part. He's offside, right? That was stupid. That's another thing this year is they just fly offside, man. They fly. Oh, I cannot control. Like, the player switching brutal this year. Go! Oh, Pele, come on, man. What is that? He's going to whip in some stupid cross, I'm sure. Look at my players. They can't intercept a single thing. They're just flying around. Like I know exactly where this guy's going on every pass, dude. That's the worst part of this. Fly back, you idiot. Run back as fast as you can. Get everybody behind the ball. Look at this guy. Million players back. My guy's just flying offside. There we go. All right. So I guess I got to do that. I just got to play really sweaty. Holy. <laughs> he's going to just spam forward. I know it. And he's going to do something stupid. Yeah, let's go ultra defensive and just sit on this. Okay, we got to do this, guys. We got to do it. We got to do it. We have to do it. Like, this is what FIFA is this year. This is what FIFA is. You have to do this, like, sweaty, sweaty, awful stuff. Um, you can't just pass through it because the passes are, they're so poorly programmed that like that pass right at the end, I just basically, all I had to do was just lob it over the top because the players break. If I would have played it like a smart pass on the ground and tried to play it in behind the defender, his play, my player would have just bounced off the back of him. He would have done this and he would have held me off. So instead you dump the ball over top and the defender goes, like where is it? And it doesn't. He loses track of it, and then your player just sprints through and smashes a goal, smashes a ball across goal. None of these goals I'm really proud of, right? Well, maybe the second one. Okay, so let's go back and look at that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's see. So the second goal, right? So 
this one in the 84th minute. Like, this is the way I want to be able to play. Just like little in tight passing and fire a shot home. That's the way I want to be able to play. But you can't do it this year because his players, his his Lothar Mateusz could have easily intercepted that. Um, his Courtois could have easily stopped that, right? But his Courtois, like for whatever reason, I don't know if he was getting handicapped or something, but his Courtois does a stupid drop down. Now I get it. It's Pele who shot that. But there's been a ton of times where, like, I have that exact same shot. I Pele, and the guy's got, like, a some ridiculous, like, maybe just Ederson or something like that. And Ederson fingertip stops it. And other times where you shoot and it's right in, and the keeper does this. And it goes right past his back. Like, it's just so, it's so inconsistent. It's just a painful game to play. Because I hate to say it, like, look at this. His defender just lost it. He Like, he lost his mind there. He couldn't figure it out. Right? Like, I'm not proud of this goal. That's just lobbing it over. That's just abusing the game mechanic because I had to do that. That's all it is. You see Pele gets hit there. Everything that he did was just a second too late. His player, like, let's go back and watch his defender. What was his Araujo doing? You see his Araujo kind of stutter there? And his Araujo just was doing that. His Araujo, see? He gets there just a second too late. Oh, just barely misses it. Oh, just barely misses the fingertip. Just sneaks in. Like, if we go back and watch this. Whoops, that is not what I want. How far back can we go? Can we watch the goal? So, watch his Araujo in the middle there. Look at look at, the, look at those moves he does, okay? The center back here, okay? He knows that I'm going there. Look at his Araujo standing. Look at, look at those moves he does. He does that, right? Because what that's doing is it's moving his player in some stupid animations. So that way when the ball gets there, he's just a second too late. So it just goes, no, no, he doesn't have the path on him. Okay, now I can start moving him forward because now he'll get there just a second too late. It's doing all those extra animations so it makes sure that he doesn't come in and get the block in. That's terrible, man. So this guy really got screwed, right? Like, I don't think he was a bad player by any means. But look at these animations he was doing. Right? I'm here with the ball. Look at that. Look at those extra animations. Ball's over top. Okay, now I'm going to run. Oh, he just barely misses out on a tackle. Right? Like, that's what FIFA is this year. Like, it's so awful, man. Look at my Araujo. Look at what he's doing here. Maybe Araujo isn't very good. But, like, look at, look at what's Araujo doing there. No, that's not what I want. Where's my... I gotta find him now. Okay, so look at this, right? So he's defending Mbappe, he's covering the run. Ball goes wide. Okay, so the ball is coming wide here. Okay, so he should be cutting it back, back a bit to the right. Getting in the way. Look at him stand. What defender on earth would do that? Instead of looking at like the danger zones, he just goes, oh, Zidane's coming through. Go ahead, buddy. Now he's out of position. And then instead of, okay, once that pass comes, he should be stopping, pivoting. And even if he doesn't get there, stopping, pivoting, and attacking the ball carrier. Look at what a position he's in. Instead, Araujo runs around and hides. <sighs> Absolutely insane. Okay, so anyway, we, we win a game. But like this is what I'm talking about. This is not reflective of what a, who's the better player there. I just spammed him, I out-spammed him at the very end, which, you know, is unfortunate, but that's essentially what happens, right? So we get our first win, but like to go 20-0 in this, you're not a good, you don't understand football. You just have to know how to just abuse the wings, abuse lobs, abuse all the tactic abuse in this game. Like it had nothing to do with who was a better player there. This is the most unrewarding FIFA game I've ever played in my life. It's the worst game I've ever played. It's awful. Oh, this guy moved. Low wow, that is a lot of icons. This is going to be a nightmare. Marquisio and Gattuso. So this guy must be Italian. Where I live in Ontario, there's a huge Italian contingent. And of course, they love FIFA. But nobody plays Gattuso and Marquisio unless you're Italian. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, you just don't.
Oh, that is not what I wanted. through there damn it man a lot of offsides oh what is that Ooh, that's not oh nice pass yeah that was my fault that was absolutely all my fault just rushing in. This guy's very beatable. You can tell by the way people play whether they're beatable or not. Um, mm -mm. He's bringing. He's rushing two players every time. So. Kama uh, Vinga, come on. Oh, what is that touch, man? Oh. So, this is very... This is easily a game that I could lose, but I shouldn't lose. See? He's just rushing, guys. So, very easily winnable game. Bang. Bang. And cool. So you see that coming, right? Like this is a very easily winnable game. Um, just because of the way this guy defends, he just rushes out and he gets caught on the ball a little bit. course I am not defending very well here I am rushing my players so the center backs one of the things you really need to do this year is not bring the center backs out oh that was dumb just let the center backs hold the runs See, his players shouldn't be able to cover that much ground. He's going to go right up the middle. There we go. Ah, that's dumb. He's just collapsing. See, my players don't make that pass. And there we go. This guy is so aggressive. I don't like the way my, my midfielders like jump up. Like, my uh, Modric and Kamavinga, they, like, really step up. Like, there you go. It's, like, it's really high up the middle. See, I don't like that. They're, like, pushing too far out. They're not, they're not coming back. And you have to run them back in a position. This guy's not a great player by any means. Like, this, this guy, I think the last player was a better FIFA player than this guy. Oh, see, make that run, man. This guy's not a very good player. This is embarrassing. 
But this is what I'm talking about. Like, um, my players just, you can't, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You can't, you have to be spammy this year, which I hate. Like, it's so awful to play. Like, you know exactly where guys are going, but you can't stop it because the, the dynamic difficulty in the game, it just makes it impossible. See, like, there. Like, it. I just can't control them. They're... Right now, my sliders are so low. And they're moving out of the way, which is very frustrating. Like this guy's, this guy's just got a such a spammy way of playing. Like what is what is happening? <laughs> See that? Like I can read it. I know where he's going. And my players falling all over each other. And I can't stop it. So you guys are witnessing what happens when the game's dynamic difficulty slides, right? Like, I just, I can't control them. They're right in their face and they're just, they're just bouncing off of them. Like, I can't stop this guy because it's like, they're just stuck in mud and they're just a step behind. They're, they're weave running, they're swinging, they're falling over each other. Like, the sliders are so far <laughs> in my opponent's favor because he's winning, right? So his attack is, is, uh. His attack has got him um, a dynamic difficulty in the game that's really swung the sliders uh, towards his favor. So it just makes it really hard to come back. Like, I don't think this guy's a very good player at all. He's just spamming press. He's spamming aggressive tactics. And I'll probably have to change my tactics. Um, I don't like doing it too early because ultra attacking goes one of two ways. You either start to get the momentum in your favor, or if he scores a fourth goal, my players will just fall through the floor and they'll do dumb stuff. They'll run like this. Like, it just turns into an absolute nightmare. And this idiot's doing something god-awful. I'm sure he's going into a super defensive... Um, super defensive... Uh... See that? See the way... Uh... What is... Where are they going, man? Oh, this, like, messy there. Just chugging along. Like, sprint, man. Please, sprint. Sprint. And all he's doing is calling second man and rushing the ball. So it puts your players under duress and their composure falls through the floor. Like it is, this game is so awful to play. <coughs> when you're trying to score from behind, man. Really brutal. Um, I'm actually going to take Modric off. I don't know why people say this Atal card is bad. Like he's been fantastic for me when I've needed him. Let's get some subs in here, though. Oh, of course he comes away with that. Why wouldn't he? Like, where is that pass for me, man? Right back to him, right? What is happening? What is going on here, man? Dude, I just can't even get away from this. Look at this, man. What is going on here? <laughs> so he should be out of position, right? Oh my God, man. Oh, 
Oh, what the fuck? Oh, this is painful, dude. Look at that. Get the fucking bomb. Oh, my God, dude. This is FIFA, man. This is why EA, uh, they deserve to, they deserve to lose. All right, I'm just going to go ultra attacking here because like this, this team, this game is so fucked up and broken. Oh, why are you pausing it, man? Oh, this game is so fucked up and broken. Like it's, it's painful, man. It's fucking painful. It really is. Like it is just so awful to play. <laughs> like, it, yeah. This guy's just spamming his team forward. Like, just constant pressure. And, like, he doesn't get tired. He doesn't get punished. I just... My team falls apart. And he's not a good player, right? Like, he's not a good player. I'm sorry, he's not. Look at how low... How hard that pass is driven. And look at it. He's giving him the ball away. Go, Messi! Oh, my God. What is going on here, man? See, this is what I was talking about earlier. He's just going to run for it. Oh, my God, man. See, look at that. There's three of them. When, Dude, when he's spamming my players, they're intercepting everything. I'm just drawing three guys out of position. Like, there's no movement on it. This is awful. This game is so awful, man. Run, run, man, run. They're just stuck in mud. They take a heavy touch backwards in the wrong direction. Like it's fucking up my flow. Like there's no forward momentum. Oh, is this painful? And of course it goes to Sergio Ramos. Where's, where's the Rojo going? Oh, God. And he's going to take it out of bounds. If anyone wants to say there's no such thing as dynamic difficulty, you're absolutely an idiot. <laughs> like, honestly. What is he... What is that touch? Unbelievable, man. I tried to do the player lock, and I don't even know where it sent my guy. Look at them swinging. What in the... F Dude, this is just absolutely insane. See, they all narrowed there. They all went really narrow. Unfucking believable. <laughs> of course, he stutters. So when I make the slide tackle, it takes out his legs. Oh, this game is just absolutely awful. Oh, man, just terrible. Under hit, unbelievable. And of course he gets that away. There you go, man. That's FIFA for you. 5-1. And it probably should have been... Uh, I don't even know what it should have been. Like, this guy was not any better, but... I mean, I can't stop him. My team just it wouldn't allow me to... That was not to him.
Look at that. What are they doing, man? Unbelievable. There's just nothing. I can't do anything. Oh my god, dude. This is fucking painful. And look at he's still spamming two men. And look at his players. Like, look at the That is fucking terrible. That well, <laughs> just watch that whole game back. And people can say whatever they want. They could say, oh, you're not as good as you think you are, or whatever. They can blame me for that. That is fucking terrible. Just watch that game back and watch my players. Like, the pass is just warping straight to his guys. All he did was spam. Spam everything. Constant pressure. Like, just on me all the time. So my players fell through the floor. They couldn't even make a pass. The dynamic difficulty swung so far in his favor. Like, that was easy. That was easy for him. Not because of skill. There's no skill in this. Look at my players. Look at that Sergio Ramos movement. And of course, short arms. Like, that's dynamic difficulty and it's absolute purest form right there. That is fucking frustrating, man. And that's why people rage at this. Like, I should have known better than to go up the middle, but look at the defenders. Like, his defenders would have blocked this. Look at that. D <laughs> oh man Sergio Ramos just like keeps his leg to the side This he just sprints forward where's the save where's the save here shot like he literally just passed it right through the middle when I'm trying to make these passes into open space I'm like counterattacking. there's one on one I've got all the whole field to pass and my player will my my pass will warp straight to his center back. But this guy literally just turns. I've got three players bouncing off of him. He's just he's just going backwards doing this, shaking left and right. So like look at the defenders. No blocks, short arms. That's just that's a handicap, man. <laughs> Sorry if it sounds whiny, but that's a handicap. Like I can't even explain it. Like it's impossible to go 20 0 in this. It's impossible. The only way you can go 20 no is if you're the absolute spam master, right? Like you have to spam crazy shit, crazy tactics. It's all tactic abuse. There's no skill in that. None at all. It's fucking crazy, man. This year is so, it's, it, this is the, such a bad fucking game. They should be sued for this, for charging money for this. That is fucking terrible, man. That's fucking terrible. And now you go into the next game, like, just your team's, my team's going to get all fucked up because of that loss. Like, they're going to play worse. So the only way I'm going to win this game <coughs> is if my opponent's, like, a noob, right? Because it brings my elo down. But I'm not going to play a noob. I'm going to play some other nightmare. This guy's a real Dortmund fan. Wow, still using Pogba. Wow, this guy did the player of the month, the second player of the month, Mbappe. They're going to stand around. Oh, you fuck it. They're going to fly offside every chance they get. It's a. Go behind him, man. Alexis actually made that run. He was in behind and he under hits the pass. So it turns the ball over. Inside into Mbappe. Inside again. You know where they're going, too. That's the worst part of all of this. See them swing? They're going to run into each other. They're going to swing. Oh, where? What is that touch? Do you know how hard I'm having to try to just keep possession here?
Oh my god, man. There's no options for me either. He got a car. He got rewarded for that, for literally just sprinting straight. This guy too, like, what in the fucking hell, man? Inside, inside. Get, get there. And he takes it out of bounds. Just, oh, just please tackle him. Please tackle him. Normally. Tackle normally. Warp through him. My players are just not locking in at all. Like, they're flying by, they're swinging. Like, I cannot control my defenders right now. Oh, this is painful, this game, man. Oh, of course. Johan Cruyff. Is that fucking... Oh, my God. Robert Perez. Go to my player, man. Go... Oh... This guy's just doing stupid skill moves. He's not even... Like, look. Please, just block the player. Block the pass. Hit him on the counter. Please. Oh, my God. Just opening up like the Red Sea. Unreal. Right to him. Like, because it's, it's not even that pass. That pass is my fault. But the fact that I had the ball and my player ran away. So it forced the interception there. Right? Like, see Vinicius, it, he runs away from the ball. Like, he doesn't identify the threat. That's the problem. And everybody would be like, well, you shouldn't have made that pass. The problem is I don't have any options, right? So like look at look at my player options. Like look at them. They're so static and Vinicius will fly offside. So like what options do I have right now? And I can't get it to Alexis because he's not making himself available. Like where is my center midfielders? Like it's forcing and then it forces an an interception there. So that's morale, right? Like He wants to force this into Mbappe. And I can cover Mbappe all I want. See that? Look at that swing. Like, that is just a needless skill move. Where did his player... Like, look at this. Look at them. They're just getting swarmed. And Mbappe... Or Messi just falls over and he displaces. Like, this guy's literally just hitting pass blindly. But look at, look at the way his players are opening up. It took four of my defenders to do that. Look at that, man. And he runs away again. <sighs> like, this is not a skill issue, man. This is this is a coding issue. And it bounces off a of Rojo. Like, this is what I'm talking about. That's morale. That's morale. Like, my players are not moving. They're standing still. Like, this is not a skill issue. Look at that. That's not a skill issue. That's a coding issue. And now I'm going to be um, one and two. 
So this year has been worse than ever. Look at that. I'm trying to switch the play. I can't even get the ball across before he's, his players are in my face. Unbelievable, man. Straight to him again. It took three players, and now they're all jammed in together, right? It took three players to dispossess him. When, when I have the ball, he's just coming in and just smashing me down, right? Like, he's just knocking my players. They're falling out of position. Or they're swinging wildly. Like, it takes so many of my players to make a tackle in this. And it's not a skill issue, right? Because a one-on-one -on -one tackle, I should be able to tackle a guy one-on-one. -on -one. If he makes a bad move, if he makes a dumb play, I should be able to just go in and straight up tackle him. But I'm not able to. You can't do that. You can't go in there and just tackle a guy. It takes three or four tackles. It takes three or four men. And then by the time you get the ball, they're stuck in mud, so you're turning the ball over again. And now your players are all out of, out of position. Like, I've been saying this for, for all year. All year, man. It's wild. Like, look at Camavinga. Look at his positioning. And it's so slow. So slow to get forward. Unbelievable. I can't even make a pass, man. Oh, my God. Look at how much I had to try there, man. They're like, There's no movement. It's not fast. It's slow, and it's predictable because my players are moving so slow. Their passes are so under hit. They're very slow, so it's easy for my opponent to read. Guys are too good at FIFA. You can't have them get handicapped. Look at that, man. I can't even get away. This is Alexis Sanchez, man. There's no one back. Spread the fuck out, man. Spread out. Look at them standing around. Like, it, this isn't... This has nothing to do with... Oh, he just goes flying right by. Like, this has nothing to do with, like, decision-making. It's that I don't have any options. Like, look at how slow they are. I should be able to hit them on the counter here. And said so they're standing. They're standing around. I still got it. Unbelievable, man. Put a tackle in. You see the swinging? You see them swinging? This is one loss, guys. One loss and they do that. Look at this. Look at this, man. I can't move. That's one loss. One loss. And my team is through the floor. And now, you know what you have to do? I have to take them offline. And this fucking celebrating. I have to take them offline. Look at Araujo. That's the gameplay, man. That's, that's morale. You're watching it right in front of your eyes. It's been like this for years, man. Oh, you're going to use Frostbite again? EAFC? It's fucking... This is criminal, man. Where's my... Look at the middle of the field. Look at, look at the middle of the field. Where are my players? Look at how heavy those touches are, man. Like, I am killing myself just to hold possession. Look at that. Look at how many options I have. Look at the black shirts right here. Look at these black shirts. That's criminal, man. This is fucking awful. And he can just walk up the field. What? Slide tackle block. Dude, this is fucking... And these guys just go, oh, I'm a better player than you. You're not a better player, man. The game just hands hands things to people, right? And it does it to me, too, right? It does it for me, but, like, that's insane. Where... What is happening, man? He's offside, right? Dude, you guys are witnessing this, man. Anybody that says there's no such thing as a handicap, you don't know what you're talking about. I read all of those passes. 
This game is so screwed up. I can't, like, I cannot with this, man. He's going to turn it over there too, right? Because they all ran central. And now the... There's nothing I can do. That's why I'm losing games like 8-2, 8-1, 4-0. Like, th this guy's not even a great player. Like, he's not. We're very compatible players here. But this is, like, this is just the game, right? You can't stop it. And then you see Hakimi trip over and fall. It's all dynamic difficulty, man. I can't stop this right now. It puts you at a disadvantage. Like, my team was screwed from the start. Like, look at them. He falls over, displacement. Man, anybody that doesn't understand that there's morale in this, I just think, what have you been playing? Like, what do you play? Like, what, what game do you play? Unbelievable, man. Just forcing turnovers to this guy. And all he has to do is sprint forward. <laughs> you guys are witnessing right in front of your eyes, man. This is this is how awful this is. Displacement there. He displaces into a disadvantageous position. My player swings. Like, this guy can't even... All he has to do is hit pass, and it's just finding the player. Like, it is crazy, man. This is easy for this guy. Like, he's not even trying. Look at that. Look at that, man. Like, honest to God. Oh, that's not what I thought. Dude, I don't know what to tell you, man. And it's going to go to him again. So you guys are witnessing what Handicap looks like, right? So now we're going to go into a third game. They're going to play even worse. So I have to take them offline or else I'm going to be one in three. And now you've got only 16 games to try to get to 500. This game is so fucked up. It is so fucked up. It is the worst FIFA ever, man. It's terrible. You guys are watching it right in front of your eyes. It's not a skill issue because I can't even tell you if I'm any good at it. Well, apparently I'm not very good at it. But this year, more than ever, it is not about skill. It's about just... I don't even want to say luck. Look at him run away. Two passes inside, it's easy. And they all moved out of the way in order to create a passing lane. And he just shoots near post. It's easy. That's easy for him. This was an easy game. He didn't have to try very hard. And not because I'm such a poor player, but look at, look at that. Like, I don't know how you could say that they're, like, that that is like a skill issue. I move my player right in front of him. He moves out of the way. Like, I, you can't stop it. It's, fu it's frustrating, man. It's really frustrating. My player was through on goal and he slide blocks it. Look at the de defense. Look at Araujo up top. Did you see him move away there? That's literally what uh, morale is at its absolute purest form right there, right? And now they're negative two and they're going to play even worse. And you know what? If I go one and three, I have to take them offline. I have to take them offline anyway. I have to take them offline and play this game offline to beat up the computer to get them playable again. I only won that first game because my team was playing. If I played that first guy that you guys watched me pull out that winner in the end, if I was playing, if I played him next, he'd beat me five nothing. Because he's a good enough player that if my team's playing with this low of morale, they would get stomped. And I couldn't attack. I had no attack in that game. None at all. Because my players are hiding. They're standing around. And when you do get the ball, they, they do these extra animations. So my player was just flying back and just 
knocking him over. He could, he like my players were just swinging. So every time he was passing the ball up, even if he made a bad decision and I read it, my players would just, they wouldn't lock in. They would just do this. They would swing around him. They would, they would bounce off of him. All he had to do was just hit pass to go forward. It's so painful. And I know I sound like a, I'm, I'm pissing and I'm moaning, but it's like, this is fucking terrible, man. It's fucking terrible. This is an embarrassment to video game design. It's so awful, man. It makes me think like, it makes me sad. Like it does. It makes me sad that these guys charged people money for this. It makes me sad because I was such a fan of this and I tried so hard to get this channel going, but like, I don't want to play it. I don't want to play this. I don't want to play that. Man, it's, that's a really depressing way to end this video. But like, guys, I, like, I don't even know what to tell you, man. That's why people don't want to play Fudge Champs because it's, it's awful. Like you, you can't play it, right? It's all momentum. It's all morale. Like if you're, if your team's winning, you'll come up against some really, really good opponents and eventually someone's going to beat you. And then your team goes on these long slides and it's happening so early. I don't know why I'm coming up against these sweat monsters. I never, ever, ever play easy guys ever. There's, I, I watched some of these videos of like pie face and some of these other guys and no offense to them, but they're not good FIFA players. And they like come up against these goofs and I'm just like, I'm coming up against just sweat monsters over and over and over. And I like I can't even get a result against them and then my team gets morale and I lose a game five nothing because the guy's are literally just hitting pass up the field and they're just running through wave after wave after wave and I'm killing myself to try to play simple balls on the ground and they just won't do it my players are running away from it they're standing there when I do wiggle out of like all this like five man press they'll under hit a pass or they'll force a turnover like I, I don't want to play it I don't want to play this it's not worth the reward it's not worth any of these gold cards, these red cards. None of them. None of them are worth it. Because you know what? You have to take them and play this fucked up shit. It's terrible, man. So anyway, that's going to be the end of the video for today, guys. I'm sorry that you had to watch this. But at least you guys are seeing what I'm going through. Like, And I'm sure you guys are going through the same thing. Like People that are sitting there being like, Oh, I went 20-0, or I'm 16-0, or I'm 15-0. Don't be proud of yourself. Don't be proud of yourself for that. Because this game is not rewarding the best player. It's just rewarding... Whoever's team is just getting all the advantage. Whoever's got the DDA, it's for me, it's against me. But that's all it is. It's not about you being a good FIFA player. Well, it's about you being a good FIFA player. It's not about you understanding the sport or being what should be a good football brain. Having a good football brain is not useful in this game. It doesn't. It's not of use. All you have to do is spam tactics and understand how custom tactics work. And I just refuse to do that. Like, I don't want to play... <coughs> I don't want to play these formations... And like, look, I won my first game and I'm not even proud of that, that win because that's not a goal that I want to score. But I refuse to play in these other formations. I try to play ticky-tack of football and work the ball forward and you're punished for it this year because you can't do that. You have to spam. You have to spam down the wings and cut in crosses. And I just, I don't want to do that. And because I don't want to do that, I end up one and two or one and three or whatever it is. So anyway, guys, like I said, for the third time, that's going to be the end of the video. I appreciate you sticking with me at the very end. Until next time, take care. All right, guys, so a bit of an update. So it's Tuesday morning. We actually finished our games last night uh, late on Monday, but I didn't want to record on Monday evening because it was just really late. I didn't want to sit there editing and all that stuff. So apologize. I'm still kind of waking up here, just recording first thing in the morning here on Tuesday. So we did get our rewards. Uh, we finished 9 and 6 or 9 and 5 or something like that. What you guys are watching, though, right now is I just wanted to bring this to people's attention before we get into rewards. I don't know. You guys can shed some light into this. So you guys saw me go 1 and 2, just like I predicted. I don't know. You guys can say, oh, I was in my head or whatever it is. But, like, I called this right away. I went into a fourth game. They played even worse, and I just got stomped again. They, the morale in this game is so strong, so heavy. And I know you hear me say that every game, but it is. It affects every single game you play, which is why this game has been so bad. Uh, but it's even worse this year. It's really, really, really terrible because it is so impactful on the result. It's like you're not figuring out who the best FIFA player is. Uh, you're just basically whoever's got the DDA, like morale creates DDA in the game because it gives you your sliders an advantage or disadvantage based on your previous results, which is so idiotic, but it's just old game coding. That's just carried over. Uh, they haven't fixed it and they probably won't fix it, which is why if, like I said before, if they have frostbite engine again, uh, no matter what EAFC are doing, it's going to be absolutely terrible. So what happened was we were one in three. We ended up taking them offline, pulled a game back. Uh, 
we played some guy who was getting <laughs> morelled really badly himself. Uh, he ended up rage quitting after I scored like three goals in the first 10 minutes and he just quit. So we were two and three. Then we came up against another good opponent. He ended up beating us. So we were two and four. Then I took them offline again just to get them. Like I just wanted them playing 100% because I only played their like two or three games. They weren't playing well. Like I've always said that every loss you've, you take, you need about two offline games in order to get them playable. Two offline wins. Um, so we came back online or offline. I just beat the computer about five or six times, which is fine because I want those squad battle rewards where you actually get the, uh, the red card for your offline games. So it doubled, like there was a multi-purpose for me doing that. So I just, I stomped the computer in about five or six games and got them playable to a playable state. And then you can say this is a coincidence, but come on, we both know it's not. Ended up bringing it back to three and four, and then four and four, and then this was the game where we were on our ninth game, and we played a guy from Mexico. Now, I am not trying to insult the country of Mexico here, but I always have really bad experiences, and they're always from players from Mexico. So I don't know why this is. I don't know if there's just a, a spammy contingent there. But we were playing against a guy, and like I said, my team was playing really well. I was very, very proud of what how they were playing and what they were doing. And I ended up uh, pulling this back. We were down one nothing, pulled it back to 1-1. Down 2-1, pulled it back to 2-2. Down 3-2, pulled it back 3-3. My team was actually showing heart. They weren't just like falling through the floor and getting DDA'd really badly because of morale. My team was playing well, and I was actually able to control them. And this guy was a really good player. He was a really, really spammy player. But, look, everybody's spammy in FIFA. And I was able to actually pull this back. I was proud of my team because they finally were playing well. We go into extra time, and I go up 4-3. As soon as I scored that fourth goal, he stopped playing. He's, he's just... I don't know if he put his controller down or what he did. And... He, as soon as kickoff happened, like normally they disconnect or something like that, but his players didn't disconnect for some reason, which was a big warning sign for me. So his players were just standing there. And of course it's almost impossible to get the ball off of him. And I'm trying to steal the ball. Finally do it. We score a fifth goal. That was around the 105th minute. And then this is the 105th minute. As soon as the 105th minute happened and you're about to change over for the second half of extra time, the game freezes. Now I've had the game freeze organically in the past normally or with someone quitting normally after about like a half an hour it just kind of disconnects and it says you got your win i was hoping that was the case i went out and grabbed lunch for myself and my girlfriend came back an hour and a half later it's still on this screen so what you guys are seeing is exactly what i was looking at so i don't know if that's a fluke you guys can tell me if this is a bug or something like that but i think he was doing a no loss glitch because it basically didn't give a result so instead of going five and four we're ending up it didn't give me a loss. It just gave me four and four. It was it that game never happened. So I'm thinking this idiot just basically um, no loss glitched the game and it caused my game to freeze because he's a loser. So um, we ended up going to the next game and of course we lost. We came up against a sweat monster and he beat us. So we, instead of being five and four and going into, you know, potentially a 10th game where I can go six and four, we were at four and five. So we had to... Uh, draw it back so again i didn't want to screw around with this i just took my team offline destroyed the computer in a couple more games and then we went on a run and i finished what were we at four and five so i went five and one in my last couple games and just went on a run where we just the team was playing fine and i just buckled down and essentially finished at nine and six because we ended up losing one game i think by a shootout so you guys, what you're seeing here is me closing the app and going back into the game and stuff like that. So we ended up losing in a shootout to a guy. Uh, but, you know, the team showed some heart. And we ended up finishing at 9-6. and six. So that was the results from the weekend league. Um, yeah, it's just, it's so mentally draining and so unrewarding that no matter what rewards I was getting, it wasn't going to be worth it, right? So again, what you guys are seeing here is just me quitting out i thought for sure we were going to get a loss from this but thankfully we didn't i don't know why but well i do know why. i just found some bug in the game to make it seem like that game never happened so it's idiots like this that are just destroying the community right and i get it there's like a very young contingent of people to play fifa but it's just such a poorly designed game it's not fun to play it's riddled with morale and dda and buggy garbage that it's 
just the most awful experience you'll ever play, even when you do get it to play. And then on top of it, you got a community that is, they've created a game that's all about winning. So you've got a community that's full of young morons that essentially all they want to do is uh, get every win they can so they can get cards because it's essentially become a card collecting game, right? So all you want to do is go in and uh, get 20 and 0 and try to get yourself red De Bruyne and Salah and Rashford and all these guys. Uh, but to me, I don't want to pay 7 million coins for Marcus Rashford. I don't think he's going to be worth that. I don't think Mo Salah is going to be worth 6 million. I get they're going to be good cards, but I just don't think they're going to be worth it. So, And they're definitely not worth the mental anguish of playing this. You guys saw it in those games that we played earlier. They were just not worth it. So after the 9 and 6 results, I just stopped and gave away the rest of my games. Um, and yeah, I just... I was like, it's not worth playing this, right? Because, like, as you guys can see, the rewards. I watch people uh, get their, you know, get rank two rewards, and they'll get like maybe Saka, but to me, I like Saka is not worth it, right? So these are my rewards. I end up getting Harry Kane. We just get one, which is fine because the second one would have been like Saka or Martinelli or something like that. So that was essentially what we played for. We played for twenty five k and a red Harry Kane. Now, I was happy with the Harry Kane because I thought it could have been a lot worse. There was a lot of garbage in the EPL. It's basically, there's the elite half, which you'll never pack, and you'll never get in the red picks, or there's the bottom half, which is all guys that are less than 200k. So, Harry Kane's towards that middle ground. Uh, he's just under 200k. He's probably um, considered some of the lesser fodder, I guess, in the in the EPL team of the season. Um but yeah, those are our rewards. So we're not going to play next uh, next weekend, I don't think, because the Bundesliga, I don't build Bundesliga teams. And there's no guys in it that I really want. Like Jude Bellingham's not going to fit in my squad. I'm not going to build anybody there. But we'll probably come back for La Liga and or Liga, which is going to be so sweaty. It's going to be scary because everybody wants Mbappe and Messi, right? So... Uh, yeah, so anyway, that's kind of what the game plan is. Uh, we'll try to play some games this week, maybe some maybe some uh, uh, rivals, division rivals or something like that. But I'm interested to know what you guys uh, thought of BPL team of the season. What did you guys end up packing and whether you think this is worth it? Because to me, uh, FUT champs and just FIFA in general has been absolutely awful. I'm interested to see what they're going to announce for EAFC, but I don't have high hopes because they're such a poorly run company and this is this game has really fallen off a cliff um but we'll see what their announcements look like so far i've been very unimpressed to me it just looks like a bunch of marketing garbage so anyway that's gonna be the end of the video guys uh, i appreciate you sticking with me to the second time to the very end and until next time take care peace